Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about doing a booklet print in Adobe InDesign. So I have here a PDF file that is 36 pages and it is a uh, 8 and 3 quarters by 11 and a quarter so it's already 8 and a half 11 with a 1 eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides. And so now we're going to go ahead and set this up to print. So this is going to be a saddle stitch booklet. And as most of you know, when you do a saddle stitch, the two pages that are going to butt up next to each other on the actual printer spread is actually going to be, for, for instance, page one and then the last page of the document, which is in this case, page 36. And then you'll have two and 35 on the reverse side, etc., 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 right? So you have a couple options. Either you remember all of those pages and where they line up and place those into InDesign accordingly, or you can use the built-in print booklet to have InDesign automatically paginate everything properly for you. So if I go back into InDesign and I create a new file, and I'm just going to leave this as eight and a half by eleven because that's what our PDF is. Um, I'm going to leave facing pages off, and then I'm just going to give everything a one eighth of an inch uh, bleed. <clears throat> so if I create a new file, here's my uh, pasteboard. But before we actually place everything in there and hit print booklet, there's one thing that we got to do. If you work on a Windows uh, workstation when you go up to file print you will have an option in here when you create uh, a, 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 a what printer to use excuse me you can select a, a um, postscript file and then you can select a Adobe PDF well I'm working on a Mac and some time ago they basically discontinued the use of having Adobe PDF as a print option or as a, um, a PPD. So there is a workaround to that, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So if I minimize this out of the way, um, this website, which I will um, leave a link to on the, this is actually on the Adobe website, there is this PPD Acrobat 9 um, zip file to download and once you do that you're going to need to place it in the following folder and basically you're gonna have to do this for every edition and the reason why I decided to do this video was they just upgraded to Adobe InDesign 2024 and I went to print a booklet and all of a sudden my Adobe PDF PPD was missing and I realized it's because every time there's an update to the software they basically reset itself and you have to put that back in so I have two folders here this is from my uh, InDesign 2023 version and then here's my 2024 version so if I open up the flyout menu here you'll see I have one that says preset PPD and here is the PPD file that uh, I used to print in Adobe InDesign 2023 well, now since it's been upgraded to 2024, I need to move this file appropriately into the same folder. So if I open this up and I go to presets, you'll notice that there's no um, PPD folder in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this in here. Put in my password. Whoops. If I remember my password. So now if I open up presets, there's a folder called PPD and the ADP PDF 9.ppd um, is in there. So if I go back to InDesign and if I go up to file print, you'll see now if I choose Postscript, the PPD for Adobe PDF 9.0 is now in there. And that's what I'm gonna need for when I create my um, uh, my booklet. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead here and quickly 
use my multi-page importer and I'm going to place in that same PDF folder or file. So I'm going to place this from the media uh, crop in the center position. I'm going to hit OK. I'll give it a second here to work its magic. And as you can see, it's automatically building up the pages and we'll get to 36 pages in just a moment. Okay, so now this is ready. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to save this file and I'll just call this uh, print booklet example. Okay, so from here you had two options. You can either move around all of these pages into the appropriate spot, which will take a long time. Like I said, you're going to have to remember how to do that. Or what we can do is we can go ahead and use file print booklet to actually impose this and make and set it up as a saddle stitch book. So there's a couple things we're going to do first. Uh, first thing I like to do is I start off and I go to the print settings. And so here's where we're going to change our printer to a postscript file. And we're going to change it to the Adobe PDF 9.0. And that way we are able to go in here and change our paper size. So this is going to print, in this case, it's an 8.5 by 11. You're going to print it basically two pages up on a sheet. And then we need to have some room for some bleed and for some crop marks and maybe some page information. So we're going to actually going to print this on a 12 by 18 size sheet. So our width is going to be 18. Our height is going to be 12. And then we're going to place this in the center position on the page. 100% scaling. We don't want to uh, change anything there. I'm going to add crop marks and page information and I'm going to offset those crop marks to 1 8 of an inch away from where the um, uh, the actual <clears throat> excuse me uh, page or page border is. Uh, everything else is pretty much just leave it as is unless you want to change anything. You can um, set it to separations or uh, anything like that. In this case, I'm just going to do a composite CMYK and I'm just going to let every leave everything else basically on the default as is. So I'm going to hit OK. And once I get back here, you have an option to do a couple different booklet types. You can do perfect bound or uh, two, three or four consecutive. In this case, we want a two up saddle stitch. So basically we have, you know, page one here, page 36 on this side over here. Um, so that'll be our, our saddle stitch. If you, you can put in creep settings, um, if you know what paper you're going to be printing on and, and how that creeps in or out. Um, I typically just leave it at zero. Most of the booklets that I tend to work with are pretty small and you really don't have to deal with creep settings uh, too much anyway. Um, I'll leave the automatic adjust to fit marks and bleed checked, although we basically are compensating by that by printing on a large enough sheet already so you don't really have to worry about that um, up here you can tell it a range if you only want to print certain pages for whatever reason but in this case we want to print all 36 because we're going to do a book if you click the preview tab here you can see exactly what you're going to be printing so again here's it shows you uh, an example here's page one and here's page 36 if I move to the next page Here's page 2 and 35, 3, 34, etc., etc., etc. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And as you can kind of see from the um, preview here, this is giving our crop marks, and this is going to give a little page information, which I'll zoom in once we actually make the, the uh, PDF. So everything's set up the way we want it, so we're going to go ahead and hit print, and it's going to prompt you to save it. And uh, we're going to save it as a, let me just double check that. I didn't accidentally change anything. Okay, yeah, Postscript file. Okay, so hit print. And then just hit save. And we're going to use uh, uh, the PS for Postscript. And give it a second or so, and it'll build that up. And so now, basically, once it stops, you're done with what has happened here in InDesign. So if we hide this and go back to our folder you'll see it's created a print booklet example.ps file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this with um, Acrobat Distiller. You can do, do it by two ways. You can right click and hit open with and choose Acrobat Distiller or you can go to your launch pad or your, where your applications are and you can find Acrobat Distiller and open it up. 
Once distiller opens, it takes a second and runs through some checks here. Give it a second. And now we're ready to basically drop in our file. So there's some settings that uh, I have already set up here. Um, some of these are basically the default settings for when you export a PDF via InDesign. Um, I like to use this one here called Press Quality just because it down uh, downsizes everything to basically 300 dpi for any images or anything it links uh, uh, includes all the fonts and and uh, basically it's a good one to uh, set up for a print file so once I have this ready to go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag the file here and drop it into the uh, output here it's gonna always come up with a, a security confirmation and hit OK and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to run some checks here and when it finishes you'll see it says end of job and if we look back in the folder we've now created a new PDF once you open that you can see that it is included crop marks and if I go up to my properties it is a 12 by 18 size sheet and there's a total of 18 sheets so we had 36 total pages in the book so if you divide that by two basically because you're printing two on each side 36 divided by two gives you 18 uh, sides if you divide that by two that's going to give you basically nine sheets right so if you look down here under the page information this is the file that we um, made that we made the PDF from so this was the print booklet example this shows you what spread you're on. So spread one of 18, so 18 um, sides, nine sheets, and then which pages are included on this uh, spread. And if you scroll through, you'll see those numbers change accordingly. And basically what it's done is it's just like we saw in the preview there, it's placed everything in the proper position in the book so that once this prints, all of the pages are going to line up perfectly and it's going to be read page 1 to 36 just like a standard book. So I just thought I'd share that with you, especially for folks who, once they've upgraded to the new um, uh, Adobe InDesign 2024 and their, um, their little Adobe PDF PPD is gone from the menu, that's how you get to it there. That's how you create a, uh, a saddle stitch book via InDesign. And uh, as always, please leave me a question if you have any down in the comment section. I'll leave the link to the um, to download the PPD in the description of the video. And please, as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.